Hi, I'm Neil from Vintage Roots, organic wine specialist, and I'm lucky enough to be with James Milton today. He's come all the way over from New Zealand, Gisborne, North Ireland. Um, biodynamic uh, specialist, pioneer really in New Zealand, has been farming biodynamically for 25 years, producing some fantastic wines which we've been lucky enough to import and distribute in the UK for quite some time now. Um, I'm going to hand you over to James in a little minute. We're going to start with uh, an iconic wine from James, his Chenin Blanc 09. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it, James? Sure. Yeah. So um, Chenin Blanc from Milton Vineyard comes from the TRI Vineyard, which is an estate vineyard that we've been farming since 30 years, biodynamically. Uh, this vineyard is about five kilometres from the South Pacific Ocean, so it gets nice little sea breezes coming in mm -hmm. during the heat of the summer, so it keeps the vineyard relatively cool. Um, Chenin Blanc for us is a classic variety. In fact, it's been said by some people that uh, our Chenin Blanc is one of the best in the world outside mm -hmm. of the Loire Valley. It's in that book, isn't it? Best 1,000 wine yeah. wines you, to try before you die. So, so it's, it's a, a must, must try wine. Must try wine. Um, so we pick the grapes by hand, we press them and ferment them in special 600 litre barrels that we import from France, from the Coopers in France. Uh, ferments, we try not to have a malolactic fermentation in it because we want to keep it as fresh and crisp as possible so that it keeps its nervosity, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, so it sits in the barrels for the summertime and then just before the next harvest we then bottle it yeah. and try and age it at the winery for about six months or so before we start putting it onto the market for sale. So we've been making Chateau Blanc now since 1984. Uh, it's one of our, what, what we call our cold wine. Cold wine, sure. There's not much Chenin Blanc planted in New Zealand, am I right there? Well, it? it's interesting because New Zealand is, is well mm. renowned for Sauvignon Blanc and uh, we've decided to, to, to use Chenin Blanc instead because we don't want to have a whole lot of fruit character there. We want this mm -hmm. to be more of a wine that is enjoyable with food. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, the acidity and the body and the texture that this wine develops as it gets older and matures well makes it just a perfect food wine. Mm -hmm. One of the most perfect food wines in the world. Yeah. So, shall we have a go? Let's have a try. Yep. So here we are, Chenin Blanc 2009 at the moment. Gisborne, New Zealand. And the screw cap. Used to be a cork, now we changed the screw cap for yeah. just modern reasons. But uh, for myself, I prefer the cork. But yes, yeah. wine now, the style of this wine now is a little bit more pointed mm -hmm. and uh, stiletto than, than the times when we used to use the cork. Sure. Okay, well let's, okay. let's try. Talk us through uh, what you're smelling and tasting there, James. One of the things I like about biodynamics is that we, we deal with the earth, the mm -hmm. air, the, oh, excuse me, the earth, the water, the air yeah. and the light. And so you always see that the wine has got a, a, a glow to it. We call it the luminosity. So it's, it's kind it's of shiny. Yeah, it's bright, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, really it's shiny in the glass. Yeah. And by fermenting it in big barrels, it's not accentuating the fruit primarily. It's actually trying to get secondary and tertiary. Mm -hmm. aromas and the aromas and the aroma. So you kind of get, um, well, summer fruits, including quince and pears, mm -hmm. ripe apples, and then in behind that is a little bit of beeswax and honey. Yeah, and a little bit of honey, I get honey on that. As it develops more and more, it'll get more of this honey character. Mm. Because some of the grapes have a little bit of botrytis. And uh, then also there's this sort of floral character coming from honeysuckle and acacia. So it's, mm -hmm. quite, it's got quite an array of um, aromas on the... It's got plenty of complexity on the nose, is not it? It's, um, and this is a wine, really, that will keep... How much longer do you think? I oh, mean, 10, 10, 15 10 years. 10 years is a long-keeping yeah. wine, isn't it? Chenin Blanc, well-renowned for that. So okay. therefore it has a luminosity to it. It's also got a little bit of density in the glass. It's got this lovely aroma. And then when you put it in your mouth, it seems to have this spread and spread and spread of flavour on the palate which makes you salivate mm. after a short period of time. Very creamy, quite expansive, lovely acidity on the finish. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious and probably still in its infancy, really. And um, you can sort of see that at the end of it now, there's a little bit of tannin and the acidity. It just certainly mm -hmm. cleans your mouth, makes you salivate. Absolutely delicious, yeah. Good with um, salads in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're into eating meat, white meats, white meats, meat. yeah. And as the day gets longer, the sauce should become creamier. Mm -hmm. So if you have it for lunch, you want to have it with fish, say. Yeah. If you have it for dinner, then you want to have it with chicken and most probably uh, a more of a creamy salad, a creamy sauce. Creamy yeah. sauce, yeah. Cheers. Very enjoyable wine. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you.